for me to go through a process of being a writer for hire and being a part of someone's super brain, working on behalf of their vision to say, well, I have a vision now. I have a story I want to tell. My name is Rada Blank. I am the writer, director, and star of The 40-Year-Old Version, which is premiering at the 2020 Sundance Film Festival. And it's in competition. Look at that. I've come to Sundance maybe for the past five or six years to support my friend's projects. I've just been used to doing that, but being on the other side of things is very, very different. I mean, it's like, wow. The narrative around mental health, I felt very similarly about your film um, because a lot of the world- Because I'm mentally unstable. <laughs> and... Well, you did just say you needed some- I, Yeah, I did. <laughs> there we go. I probably couldn't have asked for a better response to the film than what I'm having now. Like people really love it. And it's important for me to be at most of the screenings because I'm still learning about my film. Well, at least the commentary I'm trying to make um, in the film about an artist and their journey and why we do things and what is success. Like for me, success is not necessarily positive reviews success is that engagement where people are laughing and they say i was touched or moved or inspired i have a friend who saw the movie and she immediately walked out and broke up with her boyfriend and <laughs> i told her don't blame that shit on me and my movie they may get back together and you, you probably are but the fact that the film has been able to have that kind of impact i just was not expecting that i also want to use film to challenge like what we think a New Yorker is, you know, because I've come up on Spike Lee films and still as a fellow New Yorker, I haven't seen myself in those films. And so this is, I guess, my level of activism, you know, like why is the film black and white? I feel I want to give my culture like a sophisticated lens, you know, more vulnerable human lens, but also like I'm kind of retrofitting a film into the canon of classic New York films that should have been in there 30 years ago. Why my skin so dry? Why am I yawning right now? Why them AARP is sending shit to my house? This is 40. In my 20s, I was not focused enough or prepared to really commit myself to film. And so it took me another 20 years for me to say, well, I have a vision now. I have a story I want to tell. So I went off and wrote my plays. My plays became entree into the TV world, but working in the TV world does not necessarily mean you're going to be a filmmaker. I did not go to film school. And so the Institute became that place where I could test out what I thought was an approach to storytelling. I just don't know that I would be here at the festival in competition if it wasn't for the Institute preparing me for this moment, even though I'm <clears throat> over 40. I consider myself a Sundance baby because I've come through so many labs and they've made such an investment in uh, helping to develop and groom my voice. Think about me doing hip hop. Doing what to it? I wanna make a mixtape. And so like, I come through the labs and who do I see at the festival? Michelle Satter. She's there to kind of greet me and hug me and say, I see you. You did good, kid. I've seen you struggle, like, to get acknowledged, to be seen. This filmmaker, in their very first film, has demonstrated a completeness of vision and an absolute rigor of style in the writing, producing, directing, acting, and rapping in a brilliant film that immerses audiences into a new world and worldview. The directing award for U.S. Dramatic goes to Rada Blank, the 40-year-old version. Knowing that she was there to witness me going through this process of figuring out, like, am I really a filmmaker? And so, like, the responses, the people showing up, the, the, the screenings being sold out is the answer. It's like, absolutely, I am.